How do you keep tiny hands and busy minds occupied on a flight if you are trying to stick away from technology? Today's video is all about what we're packing in our kids' carry-on luggage so that we can have a nice, smooth, happy start to our holiday. So if this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned, give it a big thumbs up because it really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified when we upload and let's get straight into it. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Beck. this is our first time at meeting and we are about to go away on our first ever family of five holiday. We currently have a one-year-old, a three-year-old, and a five-year-old. This will be our one-year-old's first time ever going away on a holiday being a pandemic baby. And we're really, really excited. We try to stick away from technology as much as we can. Obviously, there are going to be circumstances where bringing out the phone or the tablet and getting the kids to watch a short episode of something really does save your sanity. However, for the flight, we are trying to equip our kids to enjoy some technology-free time, and that is what I'm sharing today. Our two girls are about two years apart, and we have found by having the same agendas close together that they love to have similar things, and they think it's unfair if one sister has one thing and the other sister doesn't have it. So when thinking about what I was gonna pack into their activity bags, I have kept it relatively similar between the two. Though there are objects that I purchase that are separate. And as parents, we will just monitor the sharing and swapping of these. Probably one child will have it on the flight up and the other child will have it on the flight back. However, these activity bags, I'm sure they are going to be accessing throughout the entire holiday. Whenever we have some down time if they're wanting to do something to just chill because it's you know a quiet afternoon then they'll be able to access the toys and games and activities inside here we're gonna be packing our three-year-old bag first things that aren't here that we'll be packing later tonight will be the drink bottle some snacks and a change of clothes even it being a short flight accidents do happen when you least expect so we'll be packing a change of underwear shorts and t-shirt but these are the activities that will hopefully keep her occupied Starting with the books, I have purchased two different search and find books. Christmas, our girls got a very similar book to this and it kept them entertained for hours. And this is the reason why I thought getting a, another one of similar design with the search and find would be really great for the plane. So Zoe's going to get one that is transport. The next thing going in her bag is a scrapbook. Our girls have recently discovered Frozen. They are late to the game, but that is parental choice and getting Frozen themed activities and items I feel like it was really going to help them get excited and enjoy their holidays and that is another reason why each of the girls will be getting a frozen sticker book. In selecting the sticker book I did take into consideration the ages of both the kids having a five-year-old and a three-year-old and I tried to find one that was in the middle of those age groups this activity book will still be quite difficult for Zoe being only three, but it's one of those things that if she didn't get it, she would be very upset about it because she wants to be like her big sister. And so for only $3, it's an absolute bargain. This next item is a one of a kind item that the girls will share on the trip and throughout the holiday. And that is this space finder. This is such an old school toy that our kids love. They've had one previously, but it broke from overuse. And so giving them a brand new one for this holiday I know they're gonna get super duper excited for. Keeping along the theme of having Frozen are these magic marker notebooks. These are great for having minimal if any mess on the plane. They're not gonna get pen on the seat which is fantastic and it does keep them entertained for a decent amount of time. We always encourage our kids to do reading whether that be looking at the picture or actually decoding the words. So a bluey book will be going into Zoe's bag. Then finally, we have some activities like our little poppet board, some coloring pencils, threading, a magnetized maze, a cheap $1 puzzle, and finally, a light up LED board for drawing. As I mentioned in the start, my five-year-old's bag is pretty similar to the three-year-old's bag just because we are not wanting to have any unnecessary fights between the two girls. So this is what we'll be packing in our five-year-old's bag. We have another search and find book. This time it's 
animals so the girls will take turns being able to search and find the frozen sticker book and when I was speaking with Amira's teacher she was saying that an area of improvement for Amira could be sentence writing and I have journaled every single family holiday that we have taken since our honeymoon and I thought it would be a great opportunity for Amira to sit down while I journal to write maybe one or two sentences about the highlights of her day. So I've picked up a journal book for her that has lines in it. And that way Amira will be able to practice her writing, which will hopefully help her in school for term four. Amira will also get her magic marker frozen activity book, a bingo storybook to read, her poppet board. And for Amira on the way up, she's going to have a go at the memory game. This game only cost me $5. It was in kind of like the toy prize section of Kmart. And I think I haven't played it yet. I'll put the batteries in obviously before we hop on the plane, but it comes up with different color combinations and the child has to memorize the color combinations and press it back to see if they get it correct. I feel like this is gonna keep Amira entertained for ages and it does say for three plus, so Zoe will be able to play this game as well. We have found in past experiences, having the majority of their activities aligned to each other helps to minimize fighting. Even just having the search and find books being different books and the um, space finder and the memory game, those four items alone have the potential for a meltdown on the plane, which is something that you really do want to avoid. But at the same time, it's great for them to learn the concept of sharing and it's also good to be able to rotate toys so that they don't get bored of them as quickly as if all of their activities were the same. So we're trying to find a balance between minimizing fights, but at the same time getting the most out of what we're packing to entertain them for the two flights and any downtime and quiet time. When it comes to our one-year-old, it's a little bit different trying to keep him occupied. He is a boy who loves movement and I feel like we will probably have to be walking up and down the aisle just a little bit. Other than that, we just have a handful of activities that will keep him occupied at home when we're in the hotel and in the car and on the plane. One of these toys in particular I actually bought for Finn's birthday, which if you've watched our one-year-old birthday haul video, you would know this item and that is a high chair toy. The toy is really great because it has a suction base, which means we'll be able to put it on the tray when Finn is sitting on our lap. It's also really good when he is sitting in a high chair because it's a toy that he can't throw away and then get upset about it. So we'll definitely be taking this on the plane. Finn is going through a massive teething stage, so we'll also bring a teether along. I was able to pick up this little airplane from Kmart for a dollar, and I think it's absolutely adorable for him to be able to play with. I'll also be carrying in Finn's bag a toy that can hang up in the car and dangle down, but it's not something that I'll be putting in our carry-on luggage. And then finally, this is such a weird thing to take on a plane, but for babies, it provides hours of entertainment. We have bought one along every single plane trip since our eldest daughter was very tiny, and that is a clothes peg. Clothes pegs make the best of toys because you are able to clip them onto things and for baby to pull off. It also does make a really good teether if they are teething. It's just such a versatile toy that is around the house, doesn't cost you anything, and yet will keep them occupied. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I hope it has given you some inspiration if you are trying to pack an activity bag and to minimize technology while you are on your family holiday. If it has, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell to get notified. Stay tuned for our upcoming vlogs because they will be our holiday vlogs up to Northern Queensland. We are heading off to Cairns and we're so excited. Thank you once again for watching this video and supporting us it really does mean the world to me because this ranching gig doesn't come in the rule book we only have each other and i'll see you in our next video bye